America, repent. Death and destruction is easy to prevent. June shouldn't be a month of pride, but of humility, because Christ, our Savior, hates sexual immorality. Marriage between a man and a woman is sanctified by God. Anything else besides that is a lost cause. God is punishing a mighty nation for its sin, but we need to be filled with brokenness from within. Even though Donald Trump lost 34 to none, we still have hope in the sun. Making America great again shouldn't be our goal, but ultimate holiness in Christ should be this nation's ultimate role. Trump can't save you, and neither can Biden. Sexual immorality is a new norm, deceit, theft, and lying. America, repent. God expects you to lament, for the quantity of your sins are many, and the number of your good works small, such wickedness that will make you fall. 1 Timothy 6.12 says to fight the good fight, and Christ said to go out and spread the light. Do not fight God's battles with guns and weapons of war, for it is futile, but arm yourself with faith, which is indeed useful. If we do not become humble and continue to live in pride, our lives will fall before us, and Americans will all die. Christians, let's not save America through super PACs, rallies, donations, or ballots, but let's save America through prayer like Jesus Christ, our Savior. Dear brothers and sisters, let's not forget that in order for Christ to return, the devil will make the world burn. Blasphemy, lying, sexual immorality, deceit, and theft are the enemy's grand plan, but those who persevere and put their faith in Christ will flourish in his hand. Dear believer, do not be discouraged because God will protect his own and those who persevere till the end will inherit their throne. Please share this with a friend who needs to hear this and pray for America once again.